two women, two mothers, two leaders, whose friendship, courage, and collaboration would touch the lives of millions of women and children across the world. Elizabeth Glazer and Hillary Rodham Clinton. Born the same year, their lives took two very different paths until personal tragedy and the opportunity to change the world brought them together at an important crossroads. I'm Elizabeth Glazer. At that moment, Elizabeth Glazer made an historic speech that would start a national movement. Today, I am here because it's a matter of life and death. Four years ago, my daughter died of AIDS. I am here because my son and I may not survive. Elizabeth Glazer and her two friends, Susie Zegan and Susan De Laurentiis, started the Pediatric AIDS Foundation to save her son Jake and other children with HIV. Throughout her career, Hillary Clinton made women and children's health a top priority. Meeting at the convention, they committed themselves to a future where no child would die of HIV. As First Lady, Hillary Clinton worked with Elizabeth to chart a new direction in the fight against the AIDS epidemic. They pushed for more pediatric research so that children would have the medicines they needed to survive. On December 3, 1994, Elizabeth lost her own battle with AIDS. Hillary Clinton continued the fight alongside the Elizabeth Glazer Pediatric AIDS Foundation. Year after year, she recognized the groundbreaking work of pediatric researchers through the foundation's Elizabeth Glazer Scientist Awards. As senator, Hillary Clinton continued to champion legislation to guarantee that children have equal access to drug research and treatment. Assuring us that the drugs needed by our children are safe. Because of these efforts, the number of children affected by HIV in the United States dropped dramatically. Despite progress in the U.S., the AIDS epidemic grew to startling proportions in Africa, with women and children especially vulnerable. The crusade these two women began together became a global movement. The President's Emergency Plan for AIDS Relief, or PEPFAR, was enacted to respond to this urgent crisis. Hillary Clinton was a key supporter of PEPFAR in the Senate, while the foundation was on the ground in Africa, pioneering prevention and treatment for millions. And as Secretary of State, she traveled the world to make women, children, and HIV a global priority. People say they care, but actions are what save lives. Today, fewer than 200 babies are born with HIV in the U.S. each year. Elizabeth Glazer scientists help functionally cure a baby with HIV through early treatment. And thanks to Hillary Clinton's tireless support of programs like PEPFAR and the Elizabeth Glazer Pediatric AIDS Foundation, one million children have now been born HIV free. From First Lady to Secretary of State and beyond, Hillary Clinton's global impact has brought us closer than ever to realizing Elizabeth's dream. We know we can change the course of this pandemic and usher in an AIDS-free generation.